Welcome back, you're watching the Technodog channel. This time, we're going to review the best motherboards for the AMD processors on the B450 chipset and the AM4 connection socket. The socket B450 is positioned as a competing alternative to the Intel B360 and the B250, and more powerful than the B350, which allows you to use more overclocking capabilities of processors. Get ready, there will be more technical specifications and they are more complicated than in the recent video about the SSD drives. By the way, if you haven't watched it, be sure to do it, because in modern times it is impossible to build a new computer without an SSD drive with NVMe support. In addition, the motherboards are already equipped with high-speed M2 slots, and sometimes the manufacturer even puts several such connectors. I'm going to review such motherboards too. And in order not to miss useful components reviews and keep abreast of new hardware in the world, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. And of course, don't forget to like this video. This gives me feedback and an incentive for further development. So let's get started. The motherboard from the lower price category from MSI is a compact mini ATX solution. It supports the modern microarchitecture of the Zen generation processors. There are rumors from AMD that the upcoming generation of Zen 3 processors will also support the B450 chipset. Though there will be special features like the necessity to update the BIOS, this will most likely cancel support for some outdated processors and it would be problematic to bring it back. Well, we'll see. But let's get back to the current situation. The MSI B450M A Pro Max has only two DDR4 connectors, but it supports a memory frequency up to 4133 MHz, which is good. The maximum supported capacity is 32 GB. The memory is two channel. There are four SATA 6 GB S ports and an M2 port. The total number of the USB ports available on the rear panel is six four of which are USB 3.2 Gen 1, and the other two are regular USB 2.0. The distinctive feature is the presence of two PS2 ports for connecting a simple office keyboard and mouse. There are standard ports and connectors that you can find on any motherboard, and in general, they are probably not even worth mentioning, like the Ethernet port, DVI-D, HDMI connectors for speakers and a microphone, the audio system is 7.1 channel Realtek HD audio based on the Realtek ALC892 chipset. As for the expansion slots, there is only one PCIe connector available on one line, in addition to the video card slot, of course. The motherboard is available at a price of about $50 to $60. This is an inexpensive motherboard from Gigabyte with the B450 chipset for processors with an AM4 socket, which differs in price from the previous one. The differences are immediately noticeable. There are already four dual-channel DDR4 slots with RAM up to 64 gigabytes. However, the maximum available frequency here is 3600 megahertz, but this is quite enough for many users. There are four USB 3.1 ports on the rear panel and four more USB 2.0 ports. There is a combined PS2 port, but it's not clear who will connect a simple mouse or keyboard here, given that there are two PCI Express X16 slots. This means that the motherboard is capable of supporting two video cards. At one, the scalability of the video system is provided by Crossfire technology, and the keyboard with the mouse is likely to be advanced. The board is advanced with a standard set of ports. There is the DVI-D HDMI RJ45 LAN socket, the three connectors of the built-in audio board from Realtek, with the same codec as the previous board ALC892. There is also an M2 slot available, which is located immediately above the first slot for a video card. In addition, thanks to the RGB fusion function, there is support for RGB LED rulers in seven colors. This motherboard from ASRock on the B450 chipset will be closer to $80. There is a large number of heat sinks immediately around the installation site of the processor. There is also four slots for installing RAM. You can install up to 64 gigabytes of RAM with a frequency of 3200 megahertz in total. 
Another noticeable feature is the black color of the base of the board itself, which is compared with the mysterious black sapphire. In addition to the standard connectors in the rear panel and the added D-Sub, there are also two USB 2.0 and six USB ports of version 3.0 available. Two of them are the one USB Type-C and one USB 3.1 Gen 2, which speed is two times higher USB 3.1 Gen 1. The number of SATA 3 ports, with a bandwidth of up to 6 GB second, is the same as the previous motherboards. There are four of them. It is worth highlighting the presence of two slots for video cards that can be combined using Crossfire technology, as well as the presence of two M2 slots, although one of them has a bandwidth of up to 6 GB a second, unlike the second one with 32 gigabits per second. This is another representative of Micro ATX form factors for assembling compact computers from MSI, now in the price range of $80. It is a better solution with a greater bias for cooling and workmanship compared to its younger brother. This motherboard has powerful radiators, three fan headers, and flexible speed control, four slots for DDR4 generation RAM with a maximum capacity of 64GB and a frequency of 3466MHz. The motherboard has four SATA connections for hard drives, as well as one M2 slot separated from the PCIe 3.0 X4 interface. You can only connect one video card to the motherboard, but the design of the connector itself is very good. The PCIe 3.0 X16 slot has a strong metal casing, but there are two PCIe X1 slots available. Like the previous board, this one has standard connectors for audio and video, plus D-sub video output, a combined PS2 port, and also a connector for connecting an internet cable. The audio is based on the Realtek ALC892 adapter. Gigabyte speaks of this creation as uncompromising. Indeed, the design of the Aorus Elite motherboard is somewhat predatory and sporty at the same time. The impressive cooling system is made clearly with a hint of the Bird's brand logo. In addition, there is a powerful cooling casing that cools down the heat around the south bridge of the board. The third heat sink cools the part of the board between the two connectors for video cards which can be installed in crossfire mode. There are four DDR4 slots with a maximum installed memory capacity of 64 gigabytes and a frequency of up to 3600 megahertz. The board also has two M2 socket 3 connectors, four USB 3.1 ports, and four USB 2.0. There is no D sub, and there is a DVI-D multi-port for displays, HDMI, Ethernet, a combined PS2, and already six audio connectors working with sound through the Realtek ALC892 codec, ATX form factor. A true hunter with wild falcon habits, this is how this motherboard for the B450th Aorus Pro chipset from Gigabyte Company appears on the official website. The board supports video subsystem scaling technologies. The AMD Quad GPU Crossfire and two-way AMD Crossfire modes are available. The motherboard has three PCI Express X16 slots at once, though one of them works in PCIe X4 mode. RAM is scaled to 64 gigabytes with a maximum possible frequency of 3600 MHz. There are only six USB ports on the rear panel, but all of them are USB 3.1. One of them is USB Type-C. It is possible to add USB outlets on the front panel extension strip. The corresponding connection connectors are available on the board and allow you to add another six USB ports. The Gigabyte motherboard cooling system is even more impressive. The cost of this version is more expensive. It is about $120. As for the standard connectors, there is only HDMI, DVI-D, LAN port, and five audio outputs next to SFPDIF out. This is an excellent competitor from Asus in the price category of up to $142. The manufacturer positions this board as reliable, and this is noticeable in the organization of cooling the board with three massive diffusing radiators. RAM can be expanded up to 128GB, and the maximum frequency can reach 4400MHz. 
The motherboard has two connectors for video cards and the ability to work in AMD Crossfire X mode. The rear panel connectors are covered by a TUF Gaming stainless steel. In addition, some other TUF series protection technologies are used like safe slot, ESD guards, DDR4 surge protection, and DigiPlus VRM stabilization module. The board is equipped with built-in full-color Aura backlight. It is able to synchronize with other devices equipped with compatible technologies. The motherboard is made in ATX format, so it requires an approximate full-sized case. On the rear panel, there are four USB ports of version 3.1 and two more USB 2.0 next to the PS2 port. There is also HDMI, DVI-D, USB type, LAN port, and three connectors of the Realtek S1200A audio codec which, by the way, has a signal-to-noise ratio of 108 dB for audio output and 103 dB for audio input, which allows you to get real high-fidelity sound. Well, this review has come to an end. I tried to choose the most interesting and optimal motherboard options on the B450th chipset for you. There are inexpensive options with a maximum of possibilities for their money, for example, with good support for the memory frequency. There are options supporting Crossfire already at a low price. And we completed the review with some motherboards with excellent cooling and focus on really powerful hardware and subsequent overclocking. We should also mention that all motherboards are equipped with high-quality solid-state capacitors, systems for protection against static discharges, and audio card manufacturers cunningly protect against spurious interference in order to achieve the best sound with a minimum of interference. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. See you soon.